Hey there, Bipti here, here for another quick tutorial. You might be wondering, how can I make a unit move using a processor? First of all, what we will need is, we will need some units. So let's create a ground factory, and the ground factory will build these little dudes. They need silicone and lead. So we we'll need to make sure it has lead and silicone in here, and a bit of power to start working. Power infinite, let's go. Okay, it's starting to build. The next thing is a microprocessor. And we'll program it real quick. We'll make it every single time it functions. This happens many times per second. We want it to bind a unit uh, of the type we are going to produce. And when it's got a unit bound, we will tell it to control a unit to tell it to move to x0 and y0. Now, as soon as the unit is built, the microprocessor would take control of it and tell it to go where we just told it to go. And there it goes. Goodbye, little dagger. We can see there's this yellow arrow pointing to the processor. It's saying processor controls. And there is this little thing at the bottom. I don't know what it is. Kind of a cog wheel. Well, Anyway, it's walking, it's walking. Um, the fun thing is, we can also also tell it to go somewhere else. So for example, if we tell it to go to like 800, 800, this does not affect only the last unit, but also every single unit which has been bound by this processor. So all of these guys are going to probably somewhere <laughs> up here. I'm not quite sure where 800, 800 is. If you're wondering how can we make follow the player or walk to a certain target, stay tuned for a future tutorial. We're going to go into detail there. Bye, little guys. Just walk off the map. Try really hard. Probably you will point us somewhere here. All right. So if you liked it, make sure to stay tuned for more complicated stuff. Um, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'm very happy about both. That's it for now. Bye.